that was a horrible intro. Thank you guys for making my brain cells fall out of my head already. Ugh. Ugh. Fucking hell. Right, first off, I'll critique this fucking Sheila before she even fucking opens her stupid bloody mouth. She looks like a fucking idiot. Her hair looks dirty. And her complexion actually looks like she doesn't have... She hasn't had a bath in a fucking month. And I just get this general impression that she'd be a very, very smelly woman. Uh, her face is really annoying. Okay, I'm looking... I can't... I can't. I cannot look at that screen. <laughs> look at her! Fucking look at her! Fa she looks like fucking the woman from Family Guy. He's always like, no, no, I stay in clean. How does it feel to be the same sex as Donald Trump? D. <laughs> really? What the fuck? Oh. What are you trying to accuse me of? I'm done. I'm not even three fucking seconds in, this is fucking retarded. Excuse me? <sighs> really? That's what you're gonna start with? Really? Fuck, man. What kind of question is that? You're like, what the heck? Oh, wow. I figured we'd at least get three or four questions in before it just got completely r Quentin! No! You gotta do the video. I'm not doing it! Come on. No! You got this far already. No! The way she says that. Look at her face, dude. It's like she had to gag to say that. He's a... <laughs> he's just a man. He's not the fucking Antichrist, you know? Not like Obama, but hey, you know. That one clearly directed at all men, and it's. I just don't understand why you'd ask that question. <clears throat> Your question is bad, and you should feel bad. <laughs> if this doesn't set the whole tone, I don't know what else does. I mean, some editor over at BuzzFeed had to be going through all the little footage that they have 
come across this clip and be like, yep, yep, that's the one that we need to lead with. That That's a strong leading question right there. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, you're being serious? Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> Why? Before you even get the fucking BuzzFeed opening. Boy, right out the gate. This in and of itself is a clickbait start. It is intended to get you pissed off because no woman, no man actually thinks something like that. And if you do, I think I would be fair to say 99.9% .9 of the entire population would call you an idiot. Why would you open your video with that? That's an innocent enough introduction. So that's where they're starting. So we can obviously gauge the intelligence that people are dealing with right now. So a good solid logical start then. Oh god. That really sets the tone for this video, doesn't it? What, what does that have to do with anything? What kind of dumbass question is that to start with especially? How does it feel to share genitals with someone I politically disagree with? Really? Really? You know what? Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll record this fucking video, alright? All right, okay, well, we're doing this. We are doing this. I don't know. 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 Oh, I don't know. 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 I have absolutely no idea. Let's turn this around for a moment. Let's go ahead and play your little game. What's it like being the same sex as the majority of people who murder their children? Shirley Phelps Roper. K.E. Hopkins. Pamela Anderson, famous for being a porn star and for contracting hepatitis C. The Cecil Richards. Melissa McCarthy. Theresa May. It's Elizabeth Volkenrath, who was a Nazi who was responsible for the deaths of hundreds of people at a concentration camp. Ava Braun, which in case you don't know, Ava Braun was Hitler's lover. Irma Grese, also known as the Hyena of Auschwitz a sadistic sociopath and SS guard at the women's camp in Auschwitz, responsible for selecting sick women from the women's quarters for the gas chambers, who notoriously also enjoyed shooting and beating women to death, who she thought were more attractive than her. Snooky. It's Nicole now. Yeah, whatever, Snook Snook. Honey Boo Boo's mom. Britney Spears. Justin Bieber! Zimelda Marcos. How does it feel to have the same ideology as Julie Bindle? Megan Kelly. Julia Gillard. Or Michelle Malkin. Jody Arias. Same eye color as Jody Arias. She got the same hair color too. Bell Sorensen Gunnis. Um, she was one of the first female serial murderers in the world. Well, in America, obviously, also in the world. With a kill count of 42 people. Nicole Arbor. Nicole Arbor. Yeah, Nicole Arbor. How does it, how, how, how does it feel to be the same sex as, as multiple joke thieves and plagiarist. Huh? There's a bunch of confused women who are so confused on what consent is they needed in, 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 in fucking writing. Of a bunch of people who just don't know how to do anything except for go to the court system and cry and, and whine and bitch and moan and complain about how he's not doing enough but yet you could take all of his fucking money. Blame it on the uh, 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 alcohol. Blame it on the uh, uh, uh. Michelle Bachman. Michelle Bachman. Someone who's had sex with Donald Trump. And there is Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. My grandmother who shits herself constantly and can't remember anybody's birthday. Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton, whose only skill set is the horizontal mambo. Any woman who's fucking shit. Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel at the moment, hmm? who's denying all these rape fucking allegations from Cologne and other parts of Germany in, you know, New Year's. Some stupid bitches asking stupid questions on YouTube. And how does it feel to be one yourself? Eileen Warnos. Eileen Warnos, I think. She was a serial killer who was also a prostitute. They made a movie about her called Monster. Anybody you disagree with. It's Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. One of the four people who married Donald Trump. Maggie Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. Let's say the woman on my shirt. Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden. Or Lizzie Boren. Like some other female criminals, like, or murderers and shit. Rosie O'Donnell. Ugh, Rosie O'Donnell. 
It's Rosie O'Donnell. The fucking inept piece of shit fucking gender. It's Kim Davis. Kim Davis. Kim Davis. It's this woman who's known for strangling her husband for falling asleep during sex, slitting a boyfriend's dog's throat right in front of him, and most infamously stabbing a man 37 times, decapitating him, hanging his body on a meat hook, and attempting to feed his cooked body parts to his children. Myra Hindley. Myra Hindley? Myra Hindley, who was involved in the murder and abuse of children. Myra Hindley. Like, one of the worst child abusers and child murderers in British history. I'm sure anyone from Britain will know that name. Probably not if you're American or Canadian. Just look it up. Was she was fucking horrendous. She abused dozens of children, murdered them, and buried their bodies out in the middle of the moors and wasn't caught for years. It's the majority of people who murder their children. This is Casey Anthony. Casey Anthony. This is Casey Anthony. Casey Anthony. Casey Anthony. Oh, all women must be Casey Anthony. It's Dolores Umbridge. I mean, she's fictional, but she was a, a bitch. Fucking Anita Sarkeesian. Anita Sarkeesian. Anita Sarkeesian. It's Anita Sarkeesian, if we're gonna talk about dumbasses. The woman who's, who, who preaches against freedom of speech to a freaking world organization. Oh, mothers that abused our children. Ann Coulter. Ann Coulter. Mary Ann Coulter. Ann Coulter. This is Ann Coulter. Ann Coulter. Irma Grease. Mira Hindley, Isabella of Castilla, Beverly Allitz, Mary Ann Cotton, Elizabeth Battery. How does it feel to be the same sex as Irma Grease, Queen Mary I of England, and Elizabeth Battery? This is Elizabeth Battery. You know, the person who would kill and butcher and slaughter virgins and bathe in their blood. This is Elizabeth Battery. The blood countess Elizabeth Battery. <laughs> Elizabeth Battery. Battery, who was some. Um, Crazed Hungarian princess who used to bathe in blood. It's Elizabeth Bathory. Elizabeth Bathory, who was one of the inspirations for Dracula. Elizabeth Bathory. Countess Elizabeth Bathory was a countess and serial killer from the Bathory family of nobility in the Kingdom of Hungary. She has been labeled by Guinness World Records as the most prolific female murderer. Bathory and four collaborators were accused of torturing and killing hundreds of young women. Elizabeth Bathory. Oh, I don't know. How does it feel to be the same sex as Elizabeth Bathory? Another question. How does it feel to be the same sex as these awful women from history? One of them, I quote, would order pregnant women to be torn limb from limb. Another would torture and kill 138 female serfs and would beat them with locks and rolling pins and reportedly mutilated their genitals as well. And do you remember that Elizabeth girl that we were talking about earlier? She was well known for torturing, sexually mutilating, and murdering hundreds of girls. Some citing the total amount of victims at 650. Or this girl. I fuck dogs, get over it. <laughs> I fuck dogs, get over it. <laughs> Doesn't feel too good, does it? Hillary Clinton, you know, that unethical bitch who started her political career being fired in 1974 while part of the investigation into Nixon for being unethical and dishonest? And guess what? She's never gotten any better. I guess she's a real credit to your gender, isn't she? Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. At least Trump didn't let four Americans die. Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. A, you know, who, unlike Donald Trump, is under federal investigation. Hillary Clinton. The inhuman reptilian monster known as Hillary Clinton. Fucking Hillary Clinton. 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 Hillary freaking Clinton. Hillary 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 Clinton. It's Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Now see, if you like Hillary Clinton, that wouldn't be an insult. And if you like Hillary Clinton, you'd probably get just whatever, just pure apathy from it. I don't know. I don't know. I I just don't understand that question. I guess you're trying to be funny, but it doesn't work. Hillary Clinton, you know, that psychotic, power-hungry bitch who left when a leader of a sovereign country got brutally murdered by, a, a, by an angry mob of fanatics. So, I mean, that is the land of unconfirmed Yes, yes we came, that. we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> if you've ever read Valerie Salonas, you'd understand what I'm talking about. She's basically what... Third wave feminists would be if they took a few more brain cells out. Sarah Palin. 
fucking Sarah Palin. It's Sarah Palin. 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 This is Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. This is Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. This is Sarah Palin. 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 Or anyone else responsible for the death of innocence. So how do you feel to be the same sex as these people? Do you now see why it's such a dumb fucking thing to ask? You probably don't, do you? How does it feel to have the privilege of being able to ask such a dumb fucking question as that on a huge platform like BuzzFeed? I feel nothing! What does that say about your character? Who you are, what your views are, who you love, what you hate, what you enjoy? Absolutely nothing. So fuck you for even suggesting that. Huh? Somehow I have a feeling that because I pointed this out, this somehow makes me a sexist bigot. Somehow. I don't like generalizing people like that based on their gender and nothing else. That's stupid. I'm gonna ask a much more personal question back. How does it feel to be a fucking dumb cunt? I feel nothing. It's like a complete non-issue for me. I understand though that people like you need to have a sense of belonging because being your own person, well, that's like work. You have to take responsibility for yourself and that's crazy. Nobody cares. Like, that, that's it. I don't care. Don't care what you just... <laughs> It doesn't. I don't know. I identify as a trans Romulan. I feel nothing. I'm not mathematically literate, so I know that out of 3.5 billion people, there is bound to be someone who is highly unliked. Are you fucking serious? Pretty damn good, funnily enough, considering one man does not speak for an entire gender. It feels the same as being the same sex as Hitler, uh, I, Albert Einstein, uh, Abraham Lincoln, frickin' John Wayne Gacy. Well, never thought about that before, but since you asked it, I thought about it right now, and it doesn't feel any different. Ben, fuck you! What relevance you, does that have? Shit. You're how, how do you feel knowing that you share genitals with someone like that, goddammit? It seems to me you feminist scumbags are implying that as a man I'm somehow responsible for the actions of all men. And I actually like that idea because the vast majority of people throughout history who have been worth the fuck have had a pair of balls swinging between their legs. I hate to tell you ladies, but flipping through the pages of a history book looking for a lady is like playing a game of where the fuck is Waldo. About Albert Einstein and Newton and Faraday and all these amazing people. Gandhi. And there's Abraham Lincoln Einstein and the guy who introduced chocolate to the Western world. It's Donald Trump, Nikolai Tesla, George Washington, Albert Einstein, and any other male in the entire world. Gandhi. Uh, Isaac Newton. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, Stephen Hawking. Bowie. Fucking Neil deGrasse Tyson. It's Gandhi. Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Nikola Tesla, and JFK. Albert Einstein, William Shakespeare, and Leonardo da Vinci. It's the first men to have landed on the moon. The men to have... Albert Einstein, for instance. Um, Stephen Hawking's... Gandhi. You know, Neil Armstrong. Michael Jordan. Leonardo da Vinci. Vincent Van Gogh. Alexander Graham Bell. Thomas Edison, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. Same gender as Bernie Sanders. I'm the same gender as um, Gandhi. Same gender as Martin Luther King. Uh, same gender as Jesus, assuming he was real. Fidel Castro or Barack Obama. It's the first men to have landed on the moon. The men to have Albert Einstein, for instance. Um, Stephen Hawking's so the same sex as Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr. and I don't know Bill Gates as Albert Einstein, Morgan Freeman, Alan Turing. 
Albert Einstein or Stephen Hawking or Alexander the Great or Demosthenes. I'm also same sex as Jesus, as uh, Vladimir Lenin, as Vladimir Putin, as Ivan the Fourth the Terrible, as Joseph Stalin, as Georgi Zhukov, as many other great men who lived on this earth. I'm sex, same sex as Tsar Nicholas the Second. I'm se same sex as Peter the First the Great. How how do you feel knowing that you share genitals with someone like that? God damn it! Because contrary to your collectivist beliefs, no one gender has a monopoly on stupidity. This question is likely more of a millennial jab at Donald Trump than anything else, so I won't really spend much time on it. But I still think it's worth addressing how dangerously stupid this mindset can be. I've noticed how Donald Trump has, beca has become a number one enemy for those feminists and SJWs. They could have said Hitler, they could have said Adolf Hitler, but they say Trump. Maybe Trump is, you know, is only comparable to Satan himself. He, he, he is even worse than Hitler for those SJW crazies. Well, he's probably worse than Satan as far as the liberal left are concerned. The man is literally Satan to these people. Like, you, they could have said Hitler. And they basically meant Hitler. Trump is their Hitler. It's very trendy to hate Trump right now. I'm pretty left-leaning, but I've been called a Trump supporter like six times in the past few months. How's it feel to be the same gender as Trump? Hate yourself because someone I hate has a penis and you too have a penis. Therefore, relevancy. <sighs> is Donald Trump really the best person for this joke? You, you, you could have picked anyone. You could have picked Hitler or Stalin and you picked Donald Trump. Chose Donald Trump. You could have picked, how does it feel to be the same sex as Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, Kim Jong-un, all who have been responsible for the deaths of millions of people. And Donald Trump is the worst enemy in your book. Wow. BuzzFeed has stooped to a whole new level of Trump hating. Basically what they're saying is that Trump is so bad that every guy in the world should feel ashamed of themselves simply for being the same gender as him. And that's the stupidest fucking question ever. We just, all men have just fucking an international handshake, like, like the Donald Trump fucking trust. You just make the, <laughs> make the DT fucking sign where you fucking handshake and shit. The universal for fucking every person, despite their skin color and shit. It's all Donald Trump. Right now, so yeah, if you're a man, uh, you're, you're, you're Donald Trump. You know, he's old, he's probably got sagging junk now, but that's beside the point. It wouldn't bother me if Donald Trump ate shit directly out of a dog's asshole. In fact, I'd vote for him if he didn't look like he'd been dipped in fucking turpentine. He looks like a piece of orange peel that's been left out in the fucking sunlight for too long. Feels pretty orange. Is that supposed to bother me? Donald Trump is a moron, but if you were female, that really would not change my opinion on him. And neither does the fact that we're the same sex. Is that supposed to be some kind of connection? Stephen Hawking is male, and I don't exactly feel any more of a connection. Trump is who he is, he's it, an idiot. It, it sucks. Donald Trump is an asshole. And loser. Donald Trump is a fucking asshole. I, I get that. Sorry, I've never really thought about Trump. No feelings at all about it. No feelings at all. I'm not the same sex as old Donnie, but I am the same gender. Quite frankly, it doesn't feel like much of anything, because I don't care that he and I are both dudes. Nobody cares. I don't care that I'm a male and Donald Trump is also a male. It's fine. You know, I, I don't really care. It feels pretty, feels pretty, it, it feels pretty bad. It feels pretty bad. It doesn't. Of all things Donald Trump related that I could criticize, his gender would be the very last thing on my list. And secondly, I got no qualms in being the same gender as Donald bloody Trump for the simple fucking reason I'm not him. I'm indifferent, but I'm sure it's relevant. As we all know, Trump is running on a campaign of fallacies. Trump isn't the worst person I've seen running for president. He may not be the most politically correct, but he's definitely striving to try and make America better. Actually, there's actually one huge problem with your question. It presupposes that people in general universally hate Donald Trump, when that's not the case. I mean, to be fair, I think all of politics is just a giant chicken show, so I really don't give a shit about 
politics in general, but for I know Trump has quite the following right now. So if you were asked the man who likes Donald Trump, he would probably be, if not apathetic towards the whole thing because he didn't choose to be a man, he'd probably be all right with it or happy. It's a stupid question. I, I don't, I never, I never really thought about it because it's completely irrelevant. No, I, I don't really care. As a feminist, especially as a feminist, how could you ask a gender-specific question like that? Like, specifically, because, uh, like, that's, that is, that is very sexist of you. Uh, really, my accomplishments in my life are not gauged by somebody else's. Uh, and definitely not just because we're the same gender. That is a freaking stupid question. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. You know, me and Donald Trump are n not really hanging out. It really doesn't feel any different than I felt before Donald Trump was on his on the road to becoming the next American president. <laughs> Feels fucking great. Pretty fucking cool, man. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. Fine. And in fact, I think that guy's fucking hilarious. That guy who built a five billion dollar empire? Feels pretty great. Awesome. I feel like a million dollars. Pretty good. It's great. <laughs> it's Trumptastic. Pretty damn good, actually. I mean, he's rich, he's powerful, he's gonna be the next president of the United States, and he's got a hot wife. Fucking awesome. Fantastic. Let me tell you something about Donald Trump. Clearly, clearly, he is a symbol of male privilege. Uh, he's, you know, we 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 hear this CEO statistic how most CEOs are men, and for me, Donald Trump represents this. He represents the old boys club, right? That that the membership to the patriarchy. Clearly, clearly, old white rich man. Oh, of course, I feel great. You forgot two other categories though, not just the same sex as Donald Trump. I'm also white and I'm heterosexual. Okay, that's whammy. Hello. I mean, you couldn't feel better about that. What do you want me to say? That's what you want. I'm gonna say I know that's what you want me to say and, you, and I'm guilty and I'm sorry I'm, I'm sorry for that as well I'm sorry very sorry makes my nipples rock hard Grr! I, I gotta say it feels it feels fucking wonderful imagine knowing that there's a divine perfect being in this universe a veritable Superman a creature of exquisite power and elegance and fashion sense with wonderful hair and opinions that just, you know, cut to the matter of what everyone really deep down truly believes. A man with such magnificent, glowing, radiant fucking masculinity that everyone must bow down before him and you share a gender with that person. You also have a wang. You're kind of a mini Trump. You're a Trump deep down in your pants. Exactly like him. It's fucking glorious. It makes me feel manly and aggressive, like a Viking with a claymore going, Aah! But you know, hey, on a more serious note, you could cut off Donald Trump's junk and he would still be more of a man than Bernie Sanders. How does it feel to have those beauties at your disposal? Mm. Uh, how do you answer that? Well, I'd say most of us actually acknowledge the fact that one thing that makes us unique as a species is that we're actually individuals. Which is why we don't subscribe to your identity politics bullshit. Why does that even matter? It's kind of a strange question. How illegitimate and intellectually dishonest it is. I mean, even if it's supposed to be half joking, it's just so utterly absurd. I'll go ahead and counter that question with a better one. Why are you so weak that the only reason you feel to be represented is if for whatever reason somebody of the same sex is in a position of power? Instead of, you know, trying to get in that position of power yourself. Because I've never felt any more significant in this world the fact that most of our rulers are male. That changes absolutely nothing for me, nor do I feel I have a better chance than any woman who's more qualified to do that. But for whatever reason, you idiotic feminists seem to be the only one who thinks that the reason that you cannot feel represented is because other women aren't in the positions that you would like to see them in. Instead of trying to get there yourself, you'd rather bitch about the fact that other women aren't doing it for you. 
And that is why you failed at life. Well, it's BuzzFeed. How does it feel to ask the most cringy question in all of existence? Why would it feel like anything? What's the big fucking deal? You're, you're a fucking idiot. What is it like to have a shirt with what seems to be prints of uh, monkeys with fetal alcohol syndrome? I don't know fucking dude. What? Like, what? What does that even mean? Like, it's not some fucking Cthulhu shit. It's not like I hear his- It's not like I hear his voice in my head when I go to sleep at night. He's like, Fuck the Mexicans, fuck the gays. I don't know what he says, but you know, some stupid shit probably. Just because I'm a man doesn't mean I'm connected to some interplanetary male hive mind that connects all men to each other and lets us see and adjust what every other man is thinking and feeling. Are you really trying to judge and shame an entire gender based on the actions and opinions of one single person? Should we just judge other people based on their gender because there are other members of that gender you don't like? How about we do the same with race? How does it feel to be the same race as that asshole who stole my car stereo? You know all black people are criminals, right? Funny how everyone immediately recognizes that as racism which is wrong, but these feminists use that same bigoted thinking to promote hatred towards men. I'm thinking about opting out of the system when it comes to sex and gender because I find the whole thing extremely boring. You know another thing? While I'm on the topic, it, occur it occurred to me recently, you know the reason men and women dress differently? It's because otherwise we wouldn't be able to tell each other apart. The human species, ha its male and female members look so bloody similar and that leads us to the, the secret truth about our species is Honestly, everybody is, is bisexual. By necessity. Everybody. That includes you. I know you think you're not. But you are. That, but it's the whole population of the entire world. That's the dumbest question ever. We're on point one and they're already trying to like lump everyone together into big collectivist boxes. It's like, oh, you're a man. So how does it feel to be the same sex as someone I don't like. Yeah, well, it it feels totally fucking irrelevant because I'm not that person. I am an inter I am a totally separate entity. Well, you can't base a gender off of one person. Somehow I get the feeling that you're trying to make me responsible for every man and everything a man has ever done. Why would it feel like anything? What kind of brain do you have? where you think that anybody would feel any way about that. <laughs> that question gave me cancer, oh my fucking god, man. How do I even begin to explain how fucking retarded this question is? But do you know what really would interest me? What would Bernie Sanders say to this question? And she didn't say gender, she said it's the same sex, you know, no political correctness in it. And how does you feel to be the same sex as Donald Trump? It has nothing to do with men, it's just one dude. It makes me feel like... I'm really rich. Just because, you know, because Trump said something stupid and he's a man, somehow that reflects on me because I'm a man. Because that's just, well, you know, if that's how you think, you're a retard. Like, like, it feels great. Like, honestly, that's the serious answer. It feels awesome. I'm happy that I am the same. I have a fucking Y chromosome. Genitals are a great thing to have and they feel good. Pretty good. My dear, it is an honor to be a man. Thank you very much. It feels fantastic. It feels fucking amazing. You know, I mean, having a penis is probably the best thing in the world. It's fantastic. You can play with it. You can fuck about with it. You can do You stick it in things. Having a penis is, is great. So to all feminists, my answer is... It's fucking fantastic. It makes me feel good. How about that? Suck like my dick. Yeah, I like, I, I'm fine being a man. I'm happy being in myself. BuzzFeed sucks. I, I cannot think of a single useful, funny, or insightful article or video that BuzzFeed has ever produced. A fucking possum has more talent and intelligence than all of BuzzFeed's employees combined. It's a website run by clowns and ultra-progressives. It is legitimately depressing that hardworking people in developing countries, and even here in the West, struggle to get by while these people get paid to produce stupid lists and idiotic videos that promote racism and sexism against white men. It's sick. It is sad. These are grown adults who are acting like petulant children. How do I feel to be the same sex? How does it feel to be the same sex? That's all. So let's continue with the questions.
The patriarchy? <laughs> They had it coming. Checkmate, bitch.